So you've got to have like mil like literally point one of a mil to have it, yeah, and working if, properly. So yeah, if one of the, a bit of water's in between them, it's a big problem, or they've rusted. So now we can actually tell with this once we plug it in. One, what the exhaust sounds like. Now we put that on, and two, whether our gearbox is going to go in gear. I don't know why we didn't try that first. This is it then. Back in goes the newly modified engine ECU. And after this, I'm about to find out whether we filled the coolant up properly and whether this really expensive gearbox actually works after being underwater. What ES Motors told us to do was make sure as much oil was in the gearbox as possible. So we've got to unscrew the fill plug on the side of the box here, then get the PDK fluid and syringe it into the side of the box until we start seeing fluid coming out of the fill plug again. When it does, we put the fill plug back on and it's ready to go. Battery going in. <laughs> <laughs> Positive battery terminal first. Then the negative terminal goes on. But we're not trying to think of any negatives right now. This is it. 